It's a compressor. We are on Jekyll Island now. We have lots of palm trees. And it's sunny. That's nice. I guess that was the bridge that connects St. Simons to Jekyll. Pretty cool looking bridge. Well, you gotta press what your selection you want. You want a daily pass. So you gotta make a selection of daily. You gotta pay six bucks. Yeah. The <laughs> roof. I, we going through the first, what's the name of this beach? Jekyll Island Beach. Don't really know. It's like this. Sorry for the wind, it's very windy today. I hope you can hear me. Tide covers sandbar, 10 foot depth, strong current. Uh oh. No swimming. No swimming today. I think it's a little cool to take shoes off. But you can. Okay, get out of macro mode. Jeez. Well guys, I made the right decision today. I'm gonna try to block the wind out. It's probably not gonna work. I left my shoes on though, because it's about 45 degrees. I'm on the beach in a winter suede jacket. Only on the east coast does this happen, but they all took their shoes off. How's that working? Freezing? That's what I thought. What you found? You guys aren't gonna hear anything due to the wind, I'm sorry. It's a polar bear. Polar bear. Skip this one across the water. Like that is. Is that the hotel? So. Alright, we got a hotel, a glass shop, some place that has a bunch of jam and hot dogs. You gonna climb that? Yeah. That looks like fun. It's a big tree. That's the hotel. Get, that's a little cottage. So look at the hotel. This is really nice. If it were 20 degrees warmer, it's like 45. It's cold weather coming down the east. But it's, it's a nice place. Well, we're in the hotel. Just walking around. Mm -hmm. This looks nice. Got some nice chairs. Uh huh. These window panes are. That's nice, yeah. This, this is a little dated up here. There's the pool. It's a real nice hotel. Kind of reminds me of the Del Coronado. A little different. A little different. Builds about the same time. Different kind of architecture. Maybe not quite as grand. It's all very nice. Alright, we sat for a while. It was very nice. It's good to see some alive stuff for once.
Where's it going? Yeah. In front, there is a pond. Beautiful view, Spanish moss, and then out to the water. And on this side is the manor. Look at that. This is nice. Nice wraparound driveway, lots of palm trees. Little guest house over here for keeping your lawnmower in. Yeah, I, I could get used to that. And a golf cart. All Can custom. I Can I take it? It's all custom. Can I take the golf cart? No. A lot of history here. They've restored this place to uh, 1880 something through 1942. That's the style they've gone for, and I think it's working really well. However, they did forget that building. I don't know if that's been touched for a while, but they got the drinking fountain pretty well complete. Oh! What's it taste like? Oh, why does the water taste so bad? <laughs> Is that what it tastes like at Pat and Bob's house, too? Yeah. Uh, it tastes like shit. I don't know, boys. Ken, Ken, what do you think? You only you bad. only buy forty dollar a bottle of water. How is it? It's not it's bad. Heavy in iron. Is it iron? All right. That's found um, bridges. Here's his house. He had a family of eight, built in 1880 something. This is one of the buildings that I don't think has been restored quite as well as the others. It actually, kind of looks like it's been boarded up, perhaps. I guess we're gonna walk over take a peek. It has a lot of potential though, nice architecture. Good location. Lots of Spanish moss out front, nice yard. Nice little palm trees. Kinda looks creepy now. They working? Yeah, nice spot. Nah, it's not okay. That'll be nice someday. St. Simons, and we're going to barbecue for lunch. Oh boy! Beginning. All right, so we're we're just driving around here. We're gonna stop in visit some old friends of Razvan, but oh no, there's a tree we'll we'll show you uh, where we were last night at the uh, moderately wealthy gentleman's home. It's right over here. That's the wrong house. That's the wrong house, oh, Razvan. Right there. <laughs> that side. All right, we'll we'll film that in a few minutes. It's gonna be. We're gonna go straight. Don't film that here. Then put your window down if you want. Oh, there's the the road court. sucks. Oh, they do have tennis courts. Court. Court. What do you freaking know? He's got a nice five-car garage. Three thousand square foot guest house. And he's got a car that sounds like a panther. Yep. Well, you know, that's what money gets you. Outside waves us in again. Down the front, I think. He has three driveways. Yeah, he has a couple driveways, actually. I kind of two, but it could be a wraparound in the front. Trees in the middle of the road, you know, standard procedure. Standard procedure. Here's the front. That place is nice. Well, good morning. Good morning. It's 11.47 p.m. Good morning. I am syncing photos for some reason. It's deciding to sync 3,000 instead of the 500 I just asked it to sync. So I don't know what's up with that. What's up, Alex? Hi. Get ready to uh, to to go to bed. 
today we went over to Jekyll Island, hit up the hotel, all the gift shops over there. It's really pretty. Um, started off today about 50 degrees, and uh, you know what's going on up north, right? You have to. Um, currently in Hudson. It's like negative 32. Currently in Hudson, Ohio, which is where I live. That's Jekyll Island. It's 33 down here in Georgia. 32. That is cold for them, them Georgians. Hudson is negative 12 with a negative 38 wind chill. Do you see that? Do you see that? Negative 38 degrees Fahrenheit. I've never felt anything below about negative 10. So, oh man, I feel bad for people that are still there. If we look at a, well, of course, San Diego's unfazed at 57. Um, but if we go back here, go to maps. Can I do this with this app? Layers, temperature. And look at this. Let's zoom out and get the whole East Coast in here. The only warm part is the very tip of Florida. Well, no. Look how much is just warm too. freezing. Not up north. North of like Miami is cold. Nah, Lauderdale's warm. But my God, Savannah is down in the 20s. What about Cuba? Cuba? Oh, no, they're not on there. I'm sure they're warm about 80. So, anyways, I'm gonna let these photos sink get the vlog together, probably gonna throw a movie on, and then hit the hay. So today was pretty good, it was busy. Temperature dropped all day, but we made the best of it. Tomorrow's gonna be real cold, high of 30 something. See the Impala out there, out on the street. All right, I'm gonna go brush my teeth and uh, talk to you guys tomorrow. Good night.